Until recently, this 24-year-old had never been on a ship. Now she's taking part in a climate strike hundreds of miles from land. Hi everyone, I'm Sharma Sanduya. I'm a young climate activist and scientist from Mauritius. So I'm doing the first underwater climate strike at the side of Mala to raise awareness about its seagrass ecosystem. So it's the largest one and it stores carbon. So it's our biggest tool against the climate crisis. Sanduya's voyage began at the end of February. She joined a team of scientists and campaigners on board Greenpeace's Arctic Sunrise. Heading for the understudied Saida Mala. The vessel has been touring the high seas, calling for more to be done to protect oceans. Sandia's mission was to help collect environmental DNA and deploy sensitive underwater microphones. They're trying to learn more about what lives in and around the world's largest seagrass meadow. I think that there is a lot of life in the ocean that we don't know and that exists, which is magical, and I think that. They shouldn't be suffering because, um, because of the decisions that other people are making. Sanduya knows the impact of human activity firsthand. Last year, the MV Wakashio spilled 1,000 tonnes of oil into the waters around Mauritius. At the time, Sanduya reached out to Greta Thunberg. The Swedish activist responded, posting a call for help to her millions of social media followers. Now, Sanduya's expedition is coinciding with a Fridays for Future climate strike, part of the movement started by Thunberg. It's Sanduya's turn to raise awareness. Basically, striking underwater means that um, we're demanding climate actions, strong climate actions, which includes protecting this huge area. Greenpeace will spread the protest via its social media platforms on Friday. For Sandia, whose passion was ignited while snorkeling in the shallow waters of a lagoon as a teenager, the Indian Ocean was a daunting prospect. But she says it's an important message to protect this rich and vital world.